Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing all of the masks in North America, the world, whatever. Uh, but today, North America, because I'm looking at the Gearson N95 3230+. We just tested the best mask, I think, that I've had in the machine, um, which was the 3230, and this is the Plus. What does that mean? I'll tell you in a second. Let's, let's put it in the clamper here. All right, open this up. I love the... I actually really do like this box. Like it's a nice box. Um, individually packaged masks. Oops, how embarrassing. I have the 3230 here. Put this in. Clamp, cam, clamp, cam. That was a great clamp, if I do say so myself, and I do. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. It's the reason we showed up today, because otherwise I'm just an idiot in a lab coat that someone bought for me rambling. This gives me credibility. <laughs> That's why we're testing masks. Let's do this. All right, let's talk about Gearson. Gearson, family-owned company, um, started uh, many, many decades ago, been making masks in the United States for a long time. Um, most of the masks that I've tested on here are either some foreign masks or masks that were made in the United States as a response to the COVID-19 pandemic. So I like that these guys, if you haven't heard of them, it's because they've just been quietly executing behind the scenes, not making any noise, not spending tons of money on marketing. They've just been making a great freaking mask. Now I just tested, like I mentioned, one of the best masks I've ever tested in the machine. Ever. It's, it's because the breathability was off the charts. And this one's within a couple percentage points. I'll just, I'm just gonna blow us up here. So last one was about 96, 97%. And the airflow resistance was 48, I think. This one's 55, but the test's not done yet. The thing is, is that like, to be in a 55, 40, 48, 55 Pascals, that's like a cloth mask. So this thing has the breathability of the thinnest cloth mask you've ever put on but uh, the protection of an N95, which is insane. So uh, what is the difference between the uh, 3230 and the 3230 plus? Probably not much, uh, except uh, one little thing on the box, which I'll show you, this. Fluid resistance to 100 millimeters of mercury. What does that mean? That is a surgical rating. So this mask has a surgical rating on it, which means uh, and they may be putting some sort of additive or they may be putting a thicker fabric on there, which is why we're getting 55 Pascals instead of the, the what was it, 48 or something like that? 46. Um, 46 Pascals. So it's a little less breathable, probably because they've got something on there that's making it, uh, that's got a fluid barrier. Now this machine behind me, which we almost never turn on for you, um, is a, uh, a blood splatter test machine. If I were to put this mask in that machine and set it to 120 millimeters of mercury, uh, which is about like three PSI in your bike tire. That'd be a low bike tire. Um, it's, it's, the, uh, it's the amount of uh, uh, arterial spray. So if you were to sever an artery while in surgery, uh, it would block that blood. And that's the whole point of this mask. So unless you're a surgeon, you probably don't need the plus, honestly. Um, and it is a little less breathable, it looks like. Uh, I am gonna try it on uh, just for kicks because I wanna see if there's any different smell to it. Um, one of the things I do like about this mask is it's individually packaged, so you're not getting like a weird smell uh, to it. Um, but there is a little bit of a smell because it's individually packaged. Whatever they're using for this head strap has got like a, I'm gonna call it like a rubbery type smell to it. Could be my brain. I am detecting a little bit more smell on this, to be honest, it's like a little bit more. And it is like that rubbery smell. It's like a little bit more rubbery, but it's probably not rubber because I'm sure that it's not made with natural rubber latex. So, so it is a little bit stronger smell than uh, I think, but I think it's in my head. I don't know. It's a, I, you, you will never know. The smell is a subjective test. Look, it's just however I'm feeling that day. Uh, but we'll call this smell, by the way, head strap rubber. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ba again, back to the machine, I already, I already let you know because we were talking about the past mask. 96.894, 96.894, uh, breathability of 55. They're making all of their melt blown and materials in-house, they're vertically integrated. I didn't even know that these guys were doing that because they're just so quiet about how awesome they are. So get this mask. I'm, a I'm actually like, I don't know if they're gonna let me, but I'm gonna sell this mask on my website. 
I'm gonna sell this mask. I have to. This is like too good of a mask. Uh, I think, um, to be honest, like I might be using this mask in the future if I'm in a really dangerous situation. And honestly, you should too. Thank you, Gerson, for making a great mask. Really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, we got a lot of masks left to test today. Uh, I got, uh, got, our, got our editor here. That's right, in the flesh. Uh, big, big easy E in the house. <laughs> And, uh, and so we're going to be busting through uh, hundreds of masks, so stick with me, and I will see you on the next test. Thank you.